Hello from Slovenia again. Today I will do a flower dip. For those who are familiar with acrylic pouring fluid art technique, you probably know what a dip technique, flower dip technique is. But for those who know, who don't know, and you are maybe new to my channel, um, I will do an abstract flower painting without a brush, just with some paint and a dip technique. And I have 8 by 10 inch, no, yes, 8 by 12, I think, 8 by 12 inch canvas here. And I will pour some black for a base. And when you do uh, just a normal dip, you know, you can dip into the paint more than once or you can use your paint that it's left on the plastic as uh, le le leave it dry and use it as a skin for some jewelry or it's really nice because it's easy to gl glue it on some 3d object objects so you can glue it on some flower pots, on some rocks, or just on some new canvas, tile, wooden board. Uh, because it's flexible uh, and sometimes it's hard, you know, to pour on 3D objects and uh, keep the composition, but here you leave it to dry on the flat surface surface and it dries nice and then you can glue it and you have a new piece of art so my black base is down and today I will just do some puddles of paint for the flowers. So I will start with this extreme sheen sapphire. And some Prussian phthalo blue from Amsterdam. And some pearl white. And iridescent blue green from Pebeo, and some more pearl white, and some iridescent precious gold from Pebeo. And I will repeat this sometimes and a few times, and I will speed this process up. Okay, my puddles are done and now I will grab a skewer and try to do some kind of flower shapes with that. Thank you. 
So I will just grab a skewer and try to just add a little interest to these leaves too, maybe. We will see what will happen. So this is what is on my plastic and now I will dip my canvas into that paint. And I never did that kind of puddles for flowers before so hopefully it will not be that there will be enough paint in these puddles to create some flower shape or something abstract of course I'm not pressing hard hard you know And in this stage you can decide, you know, if you will lift it up like that or straight up. Um, and I will go kind of straight up and a little bit down if I can, I will see. So release a suction a little bit. Maybe just go all up. Oh my god. I lost a lot of colors interesting. So since this is not something that I was looking for I will just add some more paint, but this time I will just drizzle it as I normally do. Okay, let's do that again. Doke. Let's repeat this process. Let's lift it like just with a regular dip. don't like it so 
I will pour some black around here. And in the middle too. And I think that I need more pearl white. So I will just start with a lot of pearl white. And I will add green just here on the sides. Sometimes things just don't work. And today they definitely didn't. here. Let's go straight up. Just weird. I did a, I don't know, hundred of dips, but today I struggled with the dip. So probably you will see this video because it's always. Um, <laughs> nice to show you that we can struggle with the techniques that we kind of master totally already so I definitely struggled with this one so let me take you for a close-up so here is a close-up uh, <laughs> struggled struggled with this one but I see some really, really nice effects and details, so I will leave it to dry. And I love the skin on the table. I just adore this part here. So beautiful. Uh, and like a f waterfall here, you see? I like it and I will definitely try to use this skin for something because it's just amazing for my taste because there is so much beautiful things and this part is probably my favorite here <laughs> so this is it for today and see you on the next one. Bye!